Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 239ML. If you're looking for a lightweight bunk model, then this is one you'll certainly want to pay attention to. Let's go ahead and start on the front, we'll make our way around and then head on in. Right here are your dual propane tank, uh, here rather is your propane tank cover with dual propane tanks underneath. You have two 20 pound tanks on this RV. Right behind that you'll see the rails there for your battery box. Then coming up the front see black diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. If you take a look over to the side here, you will see this unit is prepped for solar. Uh, so if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy portable panels, plug them in right there, and it will trickle charge the battery. Then you have a light over there as well in case you need to hook up or disconnect at night. Makes it a little bit easier to see. Of course, the front end, you see this nice and aerodynamic, smooth fiberglass going all the way up the front there. Uh, that's part of the part of the thing about Passport is it is a great towing RV uh, and it's nice and lightweight. We'll see that a little bit more as we go through. Right here, you have a covered hinge, so less chance for any kind of rust or anything to come down the door, which is great. Magnetic latch there too makes things nice and simple. You don't have to worry about a plastic tab that's going to break off on you. If you take a look in the pass-through, you will see it is nice and open, large doors on both sides. A lot of times manufacturers will give you a smaller door on the off side, not the case on the Passport. You have an LED light in there in case you have to get in here at night. Then you can also see the aluminum frame. This has an all aluminum structure there, uh, which is great. Definitely helps give a lot of rigidity and strength to the Passport while again helping lower that weight. Power awning on here, just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Then you will notice underneath you have an LED light strip. So you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights, just flip a switch, you have light at night. Underneath that are two outside speakers. Now those are hooked up to your multimedia center inside. Uh, so if you need to uh, switch those, you can either have the speakers outside playing, the speakers inside playing, or both at the same time. Getting into the coaches, quite simple. You see you have two steps here. Uh, that really is all you need. It's a lower profile coach. So that way it is very easy to climb on in to the 239. Making our way back a little bit further, you have an electrical outlet right here, which is handy. Because as you will see, you don't have any vents or anything here, which is something that I like. So uh, that way when the awning is out, this whole space right here is good camp area. If you want to put a table out here, plug in some crock pots, something like that, it is easy to go ahead and do that. And then also you'll see right out here, you have a nice outside kitchen. So our refrigerator right there, which is probably one of the most important pieces of mine, and at least from my standpoint, because I like to put you know some adult beverages out here, some pop for the kids, it's easy for them to come and grab, condiments for your hot dogs, things like that. Right over here is a cooktop, so we can pull this out. You'll see you have the uh, faucet right here with a wash basin, so you know, after you use this, when you're done, you can just dump the water out. Nice and simple, easy to use. You don't have to worry about any plumbing or anything underneath. And then right over here, you have a two burner cooktop. So if you do want to cook something out here, uh, again, it is easy to do that. Right up top, you have some additional storage. So if you want to throw some cups up there, paper plates, napkins, things like that, maybe some spices, you have plenty of room to do that. And right underneath, you'll see you have a propane quick connect. Now the main purpose of that is to hook up your two burner cooktop right here, but if you have a grill, you can go ahead and put your grill here and hook that up as well. That way it feeds off the 40 pounds of propane in front instead of buying the separate little bottles. When you come around to the back side, you will notice there's a spare tire mounted on the back. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's great knowing that it is right back here. Also, because this does not have a square tubular bumper, what they've done is they give you a spot right back here. You can unscrew that, and that is where your sewer hose will store. Uh, on the other side here is where your power cord is, and then you will also see right up front, you do have an outside shower there with both hot and cold access. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 239ML. This particular model is in the granite interior. So as you can see, this is a great little bunkhouse. The unit weighs just over 4,100 pounds. So it is easily uh, towable by some of your midsize SUVs that are in that 5,000 pound tow capacity. But let's talk a little bit about the floor plan. We'll start right over here on the dinette. Uh, this is one of my favorite things when manufacturers are able to do this. They put the dinette on the camp side. 
Uh, the reason is you have a nice big window right here, and this is the view that you want. When you're out camping, you want to look at your campsite, not out at your neighbor's. So as you're eating breakfast or having your morning coffee, you can enjoy the view of your own campsite. Another thing I like about the dinette that Passport has done is on the bottom here, they use this leatherette rather than cloth, so it's a lot easier to clean up. This is a bunkhouse. Chances are you'll have some smaller kids with you, or maybe you know, you're just going fishing and having a bunch of buddies, and you know you have fish guts all over your pants or waders or whatever it may be. This just cleans up a heck of a lot easier than cloth does. Also, this will drop down into a bed. So if you need the extra sleeping capacity, table folds down. It'll sit along these rails right here. You'll use the cushions in the back to fill in on top of the table to create that bed there. Uh, as I did mention, though, nice big window right there. LED light right here for nighttime. So if you take a look at the ceiling and everything, you'll see that this coach actually has LED lights throughout which is great, especially if you're out boondocking, because LED lights use a fraction of the power. As you'll also notice, they're still nice and bright, and they don't put out near the heat as your standard incandescent bulbs. Right up above here, you have a cutout, so a nice little cubby hole for anything you want to store over there. Uh, you can see you have light controls right here. This is your power awning, I showed you we were outside. Again, nice and easy, extend and retract, nothing uh, too fancy there. Right underneath, this is your multimedia center. So this is pretty cool. You see you have different inputs down here. You have an auxiliary input, HDMI, USB. Um, and also this unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you want to connect to that via Bluetooth, you can certainly do that. Right underneath here is the speaker selector for it. So as I mentioned, we were out there, you can uh, just have it, you know, play on the speakers in here, outside, or both at the same time. Right next to that, you have the cabinets up here. You can see the nice tinted glass. When I open that up, one of the things I like about this is it doesn't have a style in the center. So if you have some larger items like board games or something you want to stick up there, you can do that quite easily. Right next to that is the TV. This unit does come equipped with the TV, which is great. Um, you know, so that way you don't have to worry about going out and getting one. Uh, and again, you know, this is on a swing arm mount. So if you want to be able to swing it over to watch it from the couch, which I'll show you a little bit later, you can do that, um, you know, just pulling it out. You'll see right under here, you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet or something, especially while you're sitting here at the dinette doing some work, you have easy access to it there. Thermostat on the wall right here, pretty easy to control. Um, this will control your heat. Your AC is actually mounted on the ceiling. We can take a look at that one a little bit later. Now this is a bunkhouse, so uh, you can see right back here, you have uh, in the industry is what we call a double wide bunk. This setup right here is a double over a double. The reason I like the double over double is it's great, especially if you have smaller kids, because these bunks are wide enough, you can have two small kids up here, 300 pound weight capacity, so you don't have to worry about you know any kind of uh, bunks or anything breaking on you. Also, it uses the Teddy Bear Bunk Series. Take a look at how thick this mattress is. Especially compared to a lot of other manufacturers, even within the Teddy Bear Bunk Series line, Passport uses a much thicker mattress than most of the uh, competition out there. Then you will also see that both top and bottom bunks have an LED light, they both have a window, and they both have an electrical outlet. I can't stress how rare that is in most of your uh, bunkhouse models where it has rear corner bunks. You just don't see it very often. Maybe one will have it if you're lucky, and then the kids fight over that bunk on a rainy day. This way, if it's raining, they can stay in their bunks, they can be on their iPads, whatever electronic device that they came with. I know you're trying to get away from that when camping, but trust me, on a rainy day, that can be a lifesaver for your sanity. You'll also see you have a curtain right here to close that off for privacy. Then right underneath, you have some good extra storage. Plenty of room if you want to throw like a small laundry basket under there, something for dirty clothes or duffel bags. Uh, it's just a good extra storage area. Now right back here is our rear corner bathroom. You can take a look right there is your foot flush lever toilet. So you have plenty of leg room all the way around there. Up, uh, right up here is your tub shower. Again, if you have small kids and they're still taking baths, you definitely want the tub. You can see you have good shelving space for your shampoo there. Uh, you have your hand wand and a big skylight up top, letting in a lot of natural light, giving you some additional headroom. Right over here to the side is your vent, so you can quickly help moisture escape. And then you will see you have a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that as well as underneath. And then a sink top and vanity with some additional storage underneath that too. 
Then right across the way, right across from the bunks here, what you'll see is a versatile space. So you have a couple different options here. These shelves are removable. So if you wanna take them out and just use a hanging rod, you can do that. You can hang clothes here. You can still leave a couple of these shelves in, be able to put folded clothes here. Or if you want this for pantry space, you can leave all the shelves in there and just put food in there. So it does give you the option based upon what you're bringing and how you want to camp. So you start to move back up the RV a little bit. We'll move into the kitchen. You can see the fridge freezer right here. Plenty of space. You have a nice cutout there for some of your taller items, you know, half gallon of orange juice or something. Uh, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right up here is your microwave. Underneath that, your hood with a light and fan. And of course, that is located directly above your three burner cooktop. Uh, again, a lot of RVs in this size will only give you a two burner. So having uh, that three burner cooktop there definitely is uh, a big addition. It's a big upgrade to have. It, you know, be, one, you get like the upgraded grate, you get the oven here with it, which is huge. And two, you get this one right here is a high output burner, just lets you cook more things at once. And if you're making breakfast, having the three burners is very, very beneficial. So as I mentioned, the right underneath there is the oven. And if we take a look underneath that, you will see you have some good additional storage, goes back a decent ways there. That does give you ample room for um, you know, any kind of pots and pans. Now you don't have huge countertop space here, so you do have a little bit of prep space right here, which is nice. Maybe you wanna put a coffee maker here, you can do that too. Electrical outlet right up top, so you can just go ahead and plug that in nice and easily when you need to, or toaster, whatever. But they did give you dual sink top covers here, so you can utilize this as prep space. Now if we take those off, that will reveal your double bowl sink, larger one on the left, smaller one on the right. And again, just like you have the upgraded cooktop, a lot of RVs that are in this length will just give you a single bowl, you know, smaller sink. So it definitely is cool to have the double bowl there. And then a high rise faucet as well, make dishes a little bit easier. Window for natural light, LED light here for nighttime. Up top, you have upgraded uh, raised panel cabinetry, the brush nickel poles on there. So, you know, again, just kind of showing you some of the quality they put in the unit. One more time, no style here. So if you do have bigger items, you can put them up there. And maybe you have a storage system for all of your spices or whatever. Uh, but that just gives you good extra storage space. Right underneath here, over to the side, you have two full extension ball bearing drawers. Um, you know, a lot of times when you're out RV shopping, this is something you have to look for. A lot of manufacturers just don't put drawers in the kitchen or they put them in a really inconvenient place. You have two right here. Uh, you'll have these two full extension drawers in pretty much every passport, uh, but I do like the fact they're tucked away. A Little bit of storage underneath there as well. And then we open up the sink. You can see you have storage underneath the sink too. Plenty of room for all of your cleaning supplies or whatever else you wanna stick under there. Now as we move up to the front, this is the main bedroom area. You see you do have a uh, curtain here. You can close that off again for additional privacy. And what you have is a Murphy bed, uh, which I think in this floor plan is a phenomenal idea. If you had, you know, a normal size bed, you couldn't fit everything you have in here. So the Murphy bed gives you a couch, a place to sit, a place to watch TV, you know, other than just the dinette. And this also makes up into your bed. It is very easy. I'll go ahead and show you how. So what you do, uh, this is your standard jackknife sofa. So you have all the storage underneath, which is great. You need to hide any extra bedding, pillows, whatever else. You'll fold it down just like that. It's a nice tight fit, so you just kind of tuck the cushions in just like so. And then you'll have these latches on either side for ease of use. I did already do that one, uh, but you'll just undo these latches. You have a handle right here, so you just come out, grab this handle, pull this out, drop it down just like so, and then you will take your bed, your mattress here, pull that out, and there you go. Nice and easy, it's made up. And again, it's just as easy to fold up and put away. But having that couch, I think, is definitely a huge addition in a smaller floor plan. You'll see on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe storage. Uh, going across the top there, you have a hanging rod. So, you know, if you need to hang some clothes, obviously that's the place to do it. And then additional shelf up top, you will see on the one side here, you have a nice little uh, nightstand there and an electrical outlet. So if you have to plug in cell phones or CPAP machine, that is the place you would do it. Then as I mentioned earlier, right up here is your AC. Uh, your controls are right here, so it's nice and easy to use. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport 239ML. This one is in the granite interior. 
you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.